Hey, what's going on, Virgo? Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, y'all. So let's get this energy update going for you guys. Don't forget, flip your rolls. Take only what you need and leave the rest. And please use the spirit of discernment, all right? Now, first card I got that came out was the garden and the gate reverse. So somebody stepping outside of their comfort zone. Well, that's a good thing, right? Because outside of your comfort zone is where your blessings are. That's where the abundance is at, okay? So when it comes to your happiness, you reaching or getting your wish fulfillment, you got that confidence right now, angel of strength, okay? I'm seeing you heavily in your confidence and your strength um, when, it is, when it comes to what you're trying to manifest. What else I need to see here? Yep, I keep seeing it, so I'm gonna take it. The temple path, and I also seen the journey card come out. Okay, so you're doing something different here, so I love it. That's what spirit is requiring us to do. Do something different. Stop doing things the same way, those same old patterns and habits and behaviors and mindsets. Ugh, right? So when it comes to your path, I definitely feel like you're closing out cycles, you're learning some lessons, and you're also allowing your spirit team to guide you on this way, on your journey. Some of you are on a twin flame journey. I, I look at the temple path cards as that, like this is my twin flame um, card within the energy oracle deck, okay? So do I have my, here we go. I wanna read what it says from the book. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guys, for showing up. All right, so it says um, spiritual purpose and support. So you're receiving this card. It represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path you're on leads to a blessed temple in a lovely garden, symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has had in mind for this lifetime. This card upright is here to tell you that what you're going through now is all a part of your soul's process. You are on a karmic path and hit it in the right direction. And the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lessons. The light around the temple represents the spirit world. Your family members and friends, your angels and your guides, all the loving spirit helpers who long to assist you. Call upon them and be open to their wisdom and inspiration. But this is a wonderful life expanding time. So keep in mind your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connections. Follow your higher intention that will help you move your life forward in dramatic ways and connecting with spirit in your higher self will have a wonderful influence on all that you experience. Again, the journey card. Boom. You're moving forward. It's like every time when Spurs says move, boom, you get up and move. You already got your bags packed. <laughs> you like you keep your duffel bag packed, but you change your clothes in there, your your um belongings, all of that stuff is in this bag. And some of you are actually literally moving. Or I'm, I'm also getting um traveling. Okay, so you're headed in the right direction. Yeah, this is a important part of your personal um, growth right now and your tactical plans, whatever you got going on. If you are not confident about this, you need to get confident and you need to believe you got a whole spirit team that is helping you and guiding you here on your journey. Show me what I need to see with the spread. Tell me about this garden and the big card in the reverse. The death card. Yep. So you've experienced a lot of endings, but guess what? This change is coming in for you now. Okay. So again, if it's anything that's unhealthy, anything that's hindering you, you got to let that go. All right. Because one major phase in your life is actually ending now and you're going into a whole new one, right? These doors is opening up for you right now for a whole new beginning. Um, so if you're uncertain, if there's any doubt, you need to let that go and allow yourself to start anew. And what I'm saying is that you are literally allowing yourself to have this new beginning. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, you ain't nothing holding you back. You're like, uh-uh. <laughs> I'm not resisting these changes. Mm -mm, I'm not dragging this out. No way. Page of Swords comes through. You got the energy needed right now for this too. <laughs> and if you don't, tap into it. All right. So it could be some communication coming through, some type of news coming through for you. But I do feel like if it's not um like a, a actual phone call or mail or something like that it could be intuitive downloads because remember your spirit team is actually helping you 444 on my timer so you could be getting tons and tons of ideas okay that are helping you right now to be able to move forward all right so 
Some of you need to write a blog. Some of you need to write a book or start a podcast or something. This is a great time to really share your ideas, your feelings and everything like that with people um, on a broader scale or if it's just with your colleagues or if it's just with close friends, family, you know. But it's time for you to share these ideas because you're getting it. It's all about communications for you. Some of you are in communications as your field. So you do public speaking. You may do this. You may... Um, teach uh what i heard is like on a platform or, or a podium behind a podium is also what i'm hearing tell me about the angel of strength card yeah so step outside your comfort zone and move towards towards this okay some of you could be signing some contracts and stuff too so even if here right the six of wands comes in a reverse position but I feel like that's energy that you could have had or some of you again, like I don't know where you're at on the timeline, but um, you could have been lacking some confidence, confidence with this, not really knowing if you were going to reach this important milestone in your journey. But you are. Victory is yours, baby. You're reaching this important milestone and you're getting the support with doing it. So release. All right. Whatever it is that you need to let go of. Whatever it is that may make you feel as though. You're not going to succeed, okay? Or you're going to be disappoint, disappointed. Mm -mm. This is not a private achie achievement. This is a public one. This is one where everybody is seeing it or will see it. And I know, like, even on your financial standpoint, you've managed to accumulate a, a significant amount of material wealth for some of you, okay? After working very, very hard to get to the point of where you're at now. So you got to be careful, right? Because you don't want to be overly greedy. You don't want to hoard your money. Um, yeah, don't do that because there's no reward and it's no reward in that. I'm, I'm hearing definitely make sure that you are saving properly, um, that you are not being frugal most definitely, but you're helping other people, right? Because this money that's coming in, if you haven't received it as of yet, is is this is what it's for. And what I heard is for kingdom building, so try a new venture, invest in a business or seek some new opportunities or something here, right? Because I definitely feel like you're going to have a lot of money, a lot. And that's the thing where I feel like you're also kind of like feeling like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to reach that, that point. You need money. You need money is what I'm hearing to do a lot of things. But yeah, it's going to be a lot of money, like I say, where you're going to be able to hoard this money, but you don't want to do this. You want to stay in a constant flow of giving, okay? Investing, um, helping the community, things like that. Tell me about this temple path. So have confidence in that dream. You, you, Some of you received a dream or, or a download or something here a long time ago. I'm hearing a long time ago. For some of you, I'm hearing the number 20, maybe 20 years ago or something like that, where you would be a millionaire. If you got that prophecy in a dream or something, you would be a millionaire, okay? that that's definitely coming to pass and for some of you i'm hearing it it wasn't just you that got that prophecy several several of you close friends may have gotten the same dream four of um eight of pentacles come out yeah because where it's going to come from is all your sources so you got eight different things you could be doing or you're very diligent you're very hard working um and you're very talented it's like you're mastering your skills okay so whatever it is that you, you want to do right now, if it's something dealing with going back to school or education or if you're in the education field or whatever it is, it's like, do it, okay? Take on a new skill, do something here, all right? It's going to be around in that area, but I do see you um, mastering here your skills. I do see you uh, with your own self-development. I see all of that, your talent, your skills, all of this. You're going to be paid for this and you're going to be paid well, as long as you continue to move forward and you stay on this path, you got to be dedicated to it because it's going to pay off for you in the long run. Even if you're not seeing it um, manifest as of yet, it's coming. Stay on this path. Tell me about the temple path on that self mastery. Yeah, the high priestess comes in the reverse. You can't see it. What I just heard is hidden from you. Why? Ace of Swords. Because you got to get this mental clarity. You get in that breakthrough. Your mind has to be sharp. 
So you're getting the encouragement right now, okay? So you got to be open to embrace the new ideas so you can jump freely into this next opportunity. Your mind has to be sharp. Look at this, the garden and the gate card in the reverse, right? You got to be able to be comfortable enough to be like, you know what? <laughs> Diving right on in. What you tell me to do? <laughs> Remember what I said earlier? Spirit be like, time to move. <laughs> My bag's already packed. What you talking about? <laughs> I'm ready. I've been packed. Okay, like that's how you got to be about this next opportunity that's coming to you. And you got to be sharp in your mind and you got to be ready and you got to be confident in what's going to, what you're going to be called to do. Hmm. It's definitely going to make your heart happy. It's all a part of your path. Your soul has signed up for this. Tell me about this journey card. Three of Pentacles in a reverse. Yeah, so sometimes this journey requires us to go at it alone, right? Because it, not everybody has the same goals. You know, not everybody can work together as a team, all right? And even though everything may not seem like it may seem like it's not coming together for you in that aspect, the Empress in the reverse position. I do see here that there's some disharmony. Someone, because this is like third party energy. Again, this could be a twin flame or somebody you, yeah. They, they were working with someone else. They were working, yeah, to build something here with someone else. But you were there and you were involved. Some of you have left and moved on from that situation. You packed your bags and said, you know what? Which is your energy inside these bags is your energy. And you got up out of there and said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this alone, right? You got this third party person involved. And this third party person, whoever this emperor reverses, is very codependent, okay? And you're not. You're independent. That's why it's so easy for you to just get up and go you can just move how you want yeah the emperor comes out like you you take control of your life if not you need to tell me more about this emperor this is like a masculine energy coming through could be um an aries doesn't have to be but this person is in some type of leadership position um, or they're very well respected father figure they could be an authority um, an authority figure or something they're getting ready to take on something new this person has leveled up that's how I'm saying it I got the lovers here in the reverse position so whoever your person is or whoever this emperor is in your life um, they have leveled up here to this emperor status. At first, they were they were not there. Hmm. They were making bad choices, a lot of bad decisions, but they've been working on their own self love. Is how I'm seeing it. A lot of bad choices when it comes to lovers or partners, <laughs> partnerships or friends. However. Put it how it resonates for you. Tell me about this emperor. What I'm hearing is this emperor is, is, is uh has packed their bags and moved on from the Empress reverse. Yeah, they, they didn't yeah, the death card comes out. They ended that. That's over. So it seems to me like both of you, like I said, this feels like a twin flame dynamic, are getting ready to see some type of change come in because you are in alignment with your path, your soul's mission. Tell me about this change. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. Both of you experience some type of broken family or disconnection in the family or dis domestic disharmony or something. Here. It's like whatever your dream could have been, it, it's, it, it seems to be or appears to be like a shattered. But what you two have is some type of divine love. Okay. Yeah, the 
um, five of swords is in the reverse next to the death card again a transformation a major transformation has taken place major metamorphosis y'all i'm telling you like whatever this cycle is you guys it seemed like you're ending it together it's like you're making these amends or going to be cutting some type of uh your losses from the past or whatever it is okay and 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 there's going to be some type of reconciliation or somebody has a desire to reconcile with you if you have not already reconciled with this person i'm here and let me pull from the angel wisdom tarot real quick Two of Pentacles comes out. Yeah, divine timing was at play, or it is at play. It, it's like you've been walking on a tightrope, maybe just doing too much, juggling multiple priorities, working too hard, multiple jobs. Yeah, your soul signed up for that. <laughs> wow, juggling money. Wow, why? Because you knew you would overcome it. That's why. It's like you've done this several lifetimes. <laughs> it, it was all about you bringing balance into your life. This is what your journey been about. Bringing balance into your life. Wow. Don't focus on the past. Don't focus on the negative. Five of Cups is here next to the Wheel of Fortune. Don't do that. Because I feel like because of everything that you may have lost or this person may have lost, however it goes, you got to see it. Like, everything happens for a reason. Don't focus on that. Don't focus on the loss. Like, things didn't turn out the way you anticipated because it had to happen that way. Like I said, it's like, whatever path you chose, your, your, your contract was that you signed up for before you came here was to do this. So look for the hidden blessings in this, right? Because things are going to get better. You will see positive change, unexpected progress. I feel like it's because here again, a lot of us are waking up and we're starting to see things differently or from a higher perspective. And we're realizing that we got these soul contracts and that we got these contracts with people too. And once we learn to forgive ourselves, love ourselves, elevate, evolve, grow, close out the cycles from the past and whatever, um, this is what's helping us to get this fresh new start. It's like we're clearing karma. So that's why that's why I'm hearing like you don't have to dwell on the past. Again, like I always say, like we're in the freaking matrix, y'all. Like, come on now. This is just <laughs> it's already a written script. Five of um, wands comes out. It's been a lot of conflict, a lot of um, competing energy, opposing opinions and all of that stuff um, coming at you. But you just got to walk away from this drama. It's been coming out heavily in the Virgo's reading and collective readings with a karmic energy that was opposing you. OK, the strength card again comes out. So now this is about you asserting yourself and, and standing in your personal power. OK. But it also means having that compassion that brings about forgiveness. You're stronger than you know you are. So bring out that, that compassion here for this situation if you can. You know that that's going to be key because that's a part of your journey. Like whoever this karmic energy is that has been opposing you or trying to keep you set back, they're a part of that contract too as well. But you've always been the empress or the emperor. Tell me about this five of wands. And that's what I'm hearing. Like in every lifetime, you've always been the divine feminine or the divine masculine. Ten of wands comes out. This person is burdened. And exhausted. Four swords.
Two more spores comes out. And the emperor. Okay, so again, there's a somebody's just having the hardest time making a decision, like literally weighing their options here, and kind of stuck at a deadlock, and it's becoming a bird is burdensome. Somebody could be taking on extra responsibilities. <sighs> And how I'm hearing it, it's just like, now it's time to stand up for yourself. It's, this, whatever is happening, it really isn't worth your time. Because you're almost there. You're almost at the finish line. That conflict with other people, mm -mm, it's not worth your time. At all. These people are definitely very ambitious when they were. Right? But you're in control of your own life. And your hard work is what's bringing you all of these rewards. You don't got to worry about them. This is the time right now for you. You got to still have that mental fortitude and that resiliency here. Don't get stuck at a crossroads. Mm -mm. Not at all. Not with this situation here. All right. Because, um, yeah, you don't got to look back at this. You don't even got to worry about, about that part of the story for real. Because you already overcame. Yeah, the Six of Pentacles is out. The universe is giving to you because now you did the work. You done the work. You're on path. You're you're in alignment with your journey. <laughs> I'm like, I rocks with it. <laughs> oh yeah. Where you at, Archangel Michael? Like I can hear it knocking on the box. <laughs> Let's see if I can get this box open very easily. There we go. Archangel Michael is helping you, <laughs> helping you with this situation. Let me tell you, Archangel Michael been rocking with you for a minute, okay? So whatever it is that you got going on, just ask for help with it. Archangel Michael wars on your behalf, protects you and your family and protecting you from lower energies, right? Let go of any fear now. You can ask Archangel Michael to fill you with faith and peace at all times, okay? Help you to feel safe and deserving of, of guidance from your angelic team and help you to clear away any heavy toxic or ego-based thoughts or feelings. Explore your options as well, right? And this is what I feel like you're doing. It's like, if you're not, again, step outside of your comfort zone because that's where your abundance is at. So you can ask for support, ask Archangel Michael to help you to go in a direction that's best for you, for your health, for your happiness, and for your life purpose. And that's what Archangel Michael is doing, is making sure you fulfill this purpose and making sure you're protected while you're doing it. So whoever the naysayers are, it don't even matter about them. You're in alignment with your purpose. That's all that matters. It wasn't given to them. It was given to you. You signed the contract, not them. I want to read that one from the book. I don't know why it's keep telling me read it. This situation that's concerning you can improve with Archangel Michael's help. The card serves as a reminder that it's never too late to get the angels involved and their assistance will improve everything immediately, including giving you the inner peace, the new ideas and the insight. Michael will help you in ingenuous and unexpected ways. So be open to miracles that take on surprising forms. Know that you are powerful and you are not a victim. So release any blame for yourself or others. Focus upon solutions, not problems, and allow other people to help you. Keep an open mind to alternative solutions. So Archangel Michael, thank you for assisting me with whatever your situation may be. 
Please help me to be filled with faith and peace at all times. And so it is, y'all. Come on now. Stay in alignment, y'all. Okay? You are so close. You are so close to the finish line. It ain't over, right? Because as long as we breathing and living, we got our journeys, right? But however, just know that you are closer and closer to achieving your goal, okay? And all I keep seeing is this three of cups. It's like whatever this news that's coming towards you, it's going to be worth celebrating. It's some type of joyous announcement. It could be an engagement, a pregnancy, a graduation, a wedding, whatever this is. I feel like you're going to connect with some intimate, um, an intimate setting with someone, with some people. Could be family, could be friends um, that are close to you. And you guys are going to celebrate something. I know. Now, I was getting ready to go, but I'm like, hold up. What we... What are we celebrating over here? Let me find out for you, Virgo. What is Virgo? What is this news worth celebrating? What is Virgo getting ready to celebrate? Five of Pentacles comes out. You may have felt left out on the cold in the cold, right? Or we could be going through some financial laws, whatever it is. Right? Nine of Wands. Because of your resiliency and your carriage, your tenacious to how you say it, um, Tenacity, I think that's right. I don't know why I can't get it to slide off my tongue. But the word that I, that's popping in my head is fortitude. Okay, so because of because of your fortitude, <laughs> I don't know why I'm hearing like fortitude jokes. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> but because of that, right? And you've been going through some very hard times. You've been experiencing some stuff. Okay, financial strife, some other stuff, whatever it is. The moon card comes out. Um. You don't see this coming. You kind of waiting for an answer. And it's like you're prepared to wait, you know, because you've been waiting so long. It's like you've been out in the cold for so long. You've been like, all right, I've been up this mountain already a thousand times. Okay. Six of Swords comes in the reverse position and the Justice card comes out. And all the way I see this is that it's some unfinished business. You're getting your justice. This is why you're getting ready to be able to celebrate because you still operated in your truth. The emperor in the reverse. So you're getting justice for an emperor reverse. Somebody that was very domineering, controlling. Okay, they lack discipline. Look at that, six of wands. You're getting justice for whatever that situation was. And you get ready to celebrate. I just heard double for your trouble. You get ready to reach an important milestone. You may have tried to reach an important milestone before one time. Whatever that could have been. Whatever your goal could have been. And it wasn't successful. Like I said, you get ready to get some type of public recognition, Virgo. What happened with this emperor in the reverse? This person was a tyrant, man. Very stubborn. Woo. Queen of Cups. This could be somebody that you had children by. I feel like you were very nurturing, very caring, very sensitive, very open with this person. It's like you always showed up stable, the queen of cups in this person's life, but they were just the emperor reverse. They could have been your karmic. Queen of swords comes out reverse. And the high priestess. It's like that situation kept you really kind of, uh, and what I heard was blinded from your situation, from your um, psychic abilities and powers. It's also a, a, a karmic feminine coming out too, as well as a queen of swords reverse. 
So it's like you're getting some type of justice here uh, with whoever these karmic people are. Okay. So listen to your intuition here. I, I It's a lot of stuff that has been hidden from you. A lot of secrets, a lot of deceit, all of that stuff. And, and yes, yeah, somebody get ready to start talking. Tell me about this page of swords. You need to just assert yourself is how I'm hearing it. All right. When it comes to this, tell me about this page of swords. It's like these, these people assignments were to stop you from getting on path. Yep. To stop you from getting your nine of cups. It's like <laughs> literally like they were placed in your life. Their assignment was to be your opposition. The moon card in the reverse. So some stuff is getting ready to be revealed to you. Whatever it is, it's getting ready to surface. It's, it's, the veil is lifted. That difficult choice to a swords comes out. Show me about this to a swords. That difficult choice here. That's why it's hard for you to make it. Thank you, my spirit team. Because of your challenges. You was blocked before in the past. Or you went in the wrong direction or you wanted to give up because every time you tried to get towards your nine of cups, you was blocked. That's why it's hard for you to make a make a decision and you're at this standstill. To, to even move forward or to keep going after what you really believe and dream and hope for here. The magician comes out, okay? So you got everything you need right now. All the resources, all the tools to manifest these plans, these ideas, your dreams, whatever it is, and to put it into practice, everything is ready. You got every, you have gained so much knowledge right now, Virgo. You got this power right now. This is like you're at mastery. I'm hearing alchemists. I'm hearing, yeah, you're, you're there, okay? So you can do this. Look at this, the lovers. So when it comes to you and, and having a partnership and having love and having romance and having a relationship, all of that stuff, you can manifest this Ace of Pentacles. This new beginning here, this fresh start for yourself. You get injustice. For that situation, you could have been married to someone, divorced, uh, 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 um, someone you had children with. She it could be a boss. I don't, I don't know who this emperor reverse is, but this person was a tyrant in your, your life. Very domineering. Yeah, three of cups in a reverse position. They betrayed you in some kind of way. And yeah, you y'all not together most definitely. A lot of rejection coming from this situation here. But again, like I said, you get ready to get some news worth celebrating here. Look at that. Queen of Cups comes out. It's like you remained the same. You never let it change you. Look at that. Queen of Cups keeps coming out. You never let it change you. And because you took and attuned yourself to your emotional needs, right? And the needs of other people. You opened yourself up spiritually, like on this journey. You you are literally a masterpiece right now. That's what I just heard. Wow. And it's operating in the compassion, okay? That nurturing energy, being emotionally stable. All of this right here is what helps you um, move forward here. Okay. Th this is a compassion for self is how I'm hearing it as well. Major heavy on a compassion for self, that self love aspect. So everything that you been believing and hoping and praying for, you're getting ready. That, that fresh start is coming. I just keep hearing double for your trouble. I don't want these cards to be together. Uh, can I put them together? Yeah, I got to figure that out later. I have a bad habit of doing it sometimes. I got so many different tarot cards, y'all. But, um, let 
Let me pull from here real quick. Then I'm gonna close out. So don't work too hard, <laughs> two of pentacles. All right, so make sure you bring in balance into your life. You bring some fun into your life. Balance your budget on top of that. Okay, so you can have to stop balancing money. Because this seems to be a never ending story. Don't forget, look, balance. Stay balanced. Some of you are connected again with a twin flame, like I said. And, and in order for the twins to be connected, it has to be balanced, right? It has to be an equal give and take. It has to be um uh the frequency, the energy of the two have to be in alignment. Okay, so when you're doing too much, it brings you out of balance. And the whole focus is here. It got to be, like I said, the duality, the yang and the yang, right? You got to be a vibrational match to your twin flame in order for you guys to be able to come together and work together in harmony. So take some time off and breathe. Take that time to rest and recuperate. Take that time to get out into nature. Take that time to just balance your inner peace and harmony, Right, because again, your chakras need to be in alignment. I'm telling y'all some good ant right now, okay? And I can only tell y'all this because I'm speaking from you are good to go. You I'm speaking from experience, okay? All right, so let's see. Got patience and balance. You guys are supposed to come together and blend your ideas so y'all can create something extraordinary. <laughs> I love you. I love that reading. And um, I know it was a lot of so like a lot of information coming through there. <laughs> so much stuff, y'all. But that was good. Um, I definitely liked it because my birthday is also in September. I'm 9979, y'all. And if you are in the DMV um, and you want to come celebrate with me, I'm having a crab feast on September the 10th. Okay. Um, the tickets are $75. It's all you can eat crabs. It's open bar, buffet. Um, three DJs and of course my twin is one of the DJ we're actually throwing the crab feast together so um, me him and two other uh, people so it's gonna be a wonderful time my this is my third annual crab feast my second annual crab feast was super amazing had over like 150 people in attendance um, and we just had a good old time dance a socialize all of that stuff it was no drama or anything if you can't make it and you would like to support i definitely appreciate that too you can cash at me and just say support for the crab piece as a note um because of course you already know this type of shindig costs a pretty penny okay and people like to buy tickets at the last minute so you know what we end up having to put money up out our pockets in order to get it to come into fruition y'all but um i appreciate y'all for that and also my son as well though if you that's what i'm saying if you want to pay it forward you want to give hey hello <laughs> all right my son wants to start his own um small business he wants to be able to open up a graphic um design shop or um a print shop basically and he already got a few um equipment but he needs more um so that he can be able to not only make his own clothing line but also service the community okay so um since he's not really able to work a nine to five you know self-employment is always the way always the way to go and of course his mama is going to be right there helping him um but if you want to support that movement with my son and a lot of you guys already know my son's story if you don't go over to um, our other YouTube page, you will see uh, that YouTube link in the detail box below this video. And that one is called, um, I can't remember, I don't know why I can't remember it offhand, but just look for MSC, all right? Look for major success, um, look for MSC creations or something like that, right? I want to tell y'all now, so let me just look, all right? Um, I got so many pages I'm running, but you can go over there and, um, check out the videos that we have posted so i have posted videos of his journey um that's other ways you can support him by subscribing to his channel our channel he likes to say it's our channel mom 
let's see ms conqueror all right it's ms m as in mary s as in sam conqueror okay um and go over there and subscribe y'all check out the videos and see what's going on see his updates on his health and see how he is pulling through um and i thank you guys for all your love and all your prayers and all the support especially like that energy is just amazing um your energy alone is amazing y'all so even if you can't donate just you watching my channel and subscribing and hitting the like button does a lot more than what you can imagine okay so once again i love you guys you enjoy your weekend and be blessed peace boy j prime i have an eight week workout program that will help you increase your endurance and stamina muscle tone and it will assist with weight loss the eight week program is the cornerstone to help you reach your desired fitness goals the eight-week program is calisthenic driven, which will increase your strength and core stability. Reach out to me via IG or email for more information.